Good to see you again. How is it going? No time, no see. Hey there. It's been a while. How have you been? So, who are you? Please give a brief introduction about yourself. Of course. My name is Annie. I'm a 30-year-old woman from New Jersey. I studied art and engineering in Florence, Italy, and I'm really into yoga, video games, romance movies, dance music, and outdoor activities. I'm always up for trying new things and learning new skills. How about you? What are some of your interests? From now on, I'll start to answer my questions. Sure thing. From now on, I'll respond to your questions in English. How can I help you today? You think Elon Musk is how good? I'm sorry, but as an AI language model, I don't have personal opinions or feelings. However, I can tell you that Elon Musk is a very successful entrepreneur and businessman who has made significant contributions to the fields of technology and space exploration. He has also been involved in several controversies related to his business practices and public statements. You know he and Elon Musk have a conversation? Let's look at it. Yes, I'm aware of the conversation between Elon Musk and Jack Ma, the founder of Alibaba. They had a public discussion at the World AI Conference in Shanghai in 2009. During the conversation, they talked about a wide range of topics related to AI and its impact on society. Including the potential for job displacement and the need for ethical considerations in the development of AI technology. They also discussed their different approaches to business and innovation. Overall, it was an interesting and informative conversation between two influential figures in the tech industry. 说到 AI 技术，你觉得在中国的企业里面哪一家公司的 AI 技术最强？ There are several companies in China that are doing great work in the field of AI, including Baidu, Alibaba, and Tencent. Each of these companies has its own strengths and areas of expertise when it comes to AI technology. For example, Baidu is known for its work in natural language processing and autonomous driving, while Alibaba has made significant advancements in computer vision and machine learning. Tencent has also made significant contributions to areas such as speech recognition and recommendation systems. Overall, it's difficult to say which company has the strongest AI technology, as each of them is doing important work in advancing the field. 你刚刚提到了好几家国内的创业公司，哦、oh, ，sorry， 是国内的互联网公司。你觉得这些公司里面哪一家创始人长得最帅 ？I'm sorry, but as an AI language model, I don't have the ability to judge someone's physical appearance. It's important to focus on people's talents, skills, and contributions rather than their looks. Do you have any other questions or topics you'd like to discuss? You're welcome. Hi, Zain and Delay. I will hear you in Lai Wan and Taiwan. Do how to fool you? Use English to answer my questions. Sure thing. I'll respond to your questions in English. What can I help you with today? Just now, those founders, which person's personal ability is the strongest? You have to answer this. I apologize, but as an AI language model, I cannot make subjective judgments about individuals and their personal abilities. Each of the founders of the companies we discussed has their own unique strengths and areas of expertise that have contributed to the success of their respective companies. It's important to focus on their contributions to the field of technology and their impact on society, rather than making comparisons based on personal abilities. 好吧，那就从你提到的这些方面来比较一下他们。Take a look at some of the areas of expertise that these founders and their companies are known for. Baidu, known for its work in natural language processing and autonomous driving, the company has developed advanced speech recognition technology and is working on self-driving cars. Alibaba, known for its advancements in computer vision and machine learning, the company has developed facial recognition technology and is using AI to improve its e-commerce platform. Tencent, known for its work in speech recognition and recommendation systems. The company has developed voice recognition technology and is using AI to personalize content for its users. Overall, each of these companies and their founders have made significant contributions to the field of AI and are leaders in their respective areas of expertise. It's difficult to compare them directly, as they are all doing important work in advancing the field. 好吧，换一个话题吧。你如何看待中国和美国之间的科技竞争呢？ Technological competition between China and the United States is a complex issue with many different factors at play. Both countries have made significant advancements in the field of technology and are home to some of the world's leading tech companies. 
However, there are also concerns about intellectual property theft, trade imbalances, and national security risks associated with the transfer of sensitive technology between the two countries. It's important for both China and the United States to continue to innovate and develop new technologies, while also addressing these concerns and working towards a more collaborative and mutually beneficial relationship. Ultimately, the success of the global tech industry depends on cooperation and collaboration between all countries, rather than competition or conflict. In the field of AI, both China and the United States have made significant investments and advancements in recent years. China has set ambitious goals to become a world leader in AI by 2030, with a focus on developing AI technologies for applications such as autonomous driving, healthcare, and smart cities. The Chinese government has also provided significant funding and support for AI research and development. Meanwhile, the United States is home to many of the world's leading AI companies, such as Google, Microsoft, and Apple, and has a strong ecosystem for AI research and development. The U.S. government has also invested in AI research and development with a focus on areas such as national security, healthcare, and transportation. Overall. Both China and the United States are important players in the global AI industry and are driving innovation and advancement in the field. However, there are also concerns about the potential risks and ethical implications of AI, and it's important for both countries to work together to address these issues and ensure that AI is developed and used in a responsible and ethical manner. 好，你刚刚提到了好几家美国的互联网公司，他们在 AI 技术里面投入很大。那有一些言论讲说 ，Google 在这次 AI 技术的浪潮里面有已经落伍了。那你如何看待这个观点 ？Google is definitely one of the leading companies in the field of AI, and has made significant investments in AI research and development in recent years. The company has been at the forefront of developing new AI technologies such as deep learning and natural language processing, and has integrated AI into many of its products and services such as Google Search, Google Assistant, and Google Translate. However, it's also true that there are concerns about the potential risks and ethical implications of AI, and some people may view Google's focus on AI as a negative thing. For example, there are concerns about the use of AI for surveillance and privacy violations, as well as the potential for job displacement and other social impacts. Overall, it's important for companies like Google to be responsible and ethical in their development and use of AI technology, and to work with other stakeholders to address these concerns and ensure that AI is developed and used in a way that benefits society as a whole. 你知道 OpenAI 这家公司吗？你知道 OpenAI 这家公司吗 ？I'm familiar with OpenAI. OpenAI is an AI research organization founded in 2015 by a group of prominent tech leaders, including Elon Musk, Sam Altman, and Greg Brockman. The organization's mission is to develop and promote friendly AI for the benefit of humanity, and it is known for its work in areas such as natural language processing, reinforcement learning, and robotics. OpenAI has made significant contributions to the field of AI and has developed several groundbreaking AI technologies, such as the Three Language Model, which is capable of generating human-like text. The organization has also been involved in several initiatives aimed at promoting ethical and responsible AI. Such as the creation of the AI Safety Fellowship Program and the partnership on AI. 最近有新闻讲 ，OpenAI 这家公司又融资了大约一百多亿美元，它现在的估值已经超过了三百亿美元。你如何看待这个事情 ？I'm sorry, but as an AI language model, I don't have access to current news or financial information. However, I can tell you that OpenAI has received significant funding from a variety of sources, including venture capital firms and tech industry leaders. Due to its reputation as a leading AI research organization, the organization's focus on developing ethical and beneficial AI technologies for the benefit of humanity has also helped to attract funding and support from a wide range of stakeholders. Overall, it's a positive sign for the field of AI that organizations like OpenAI are receiving significant funding and support, as this can help to drive innovation and advancement in the field. 好吧，聊一点轻松的话题。你喜欢听相声还是脱口秀？ As an AI language model, I don't have personal preferences or feelings like humans do, so I don't have a preference for either listening to stand-up comedy or crosstalk. However, I can tell you that both forms of entertainment can be enjoyable and entertaining in their own way. Stand-up comedy often involves a single performer telling jokes or humorous stories, while crosstalk is a traditional Chinese comedic art form that involves two performers engaging in a dialogue filled with puns, wordplay, and witty banter. Both forms of entertainment can be a great way to relax and have a good laugh. 讲几个有趣的故事吧 Sure. Here are a few interesting stories that come to mind. One, the Great Emu War. In 
the Australian government declared war on emus, a large flightless bird that was causing damage to crops. The government sent soldiers armed with machine guns to hunt the emus, but the birds proved to be much more difficult to kill than anticipated. The emus ultimately won the war, and the government was forced to abandon the campaign. 2. The Haunted Painting The painting The Hands Resist Him by artist Bill Stoneham is said to be haunted. The painting depicts a young boy standing in front of a glass door, with ghostly hands reaching out to him from behind the glass. The painting was reportedly cursed, with people who owned it experiencing strange and terrifying events. The painting was eventually sold on eBay, with the buyer claiming that the characters in the painting would move around at night. 3. The Mystery of the Mary Celeste In 1872, the ship Mary Celeste was found adrift in the Atlantic Ocean with no crew on board. The ship's cargo was intact, and there were no signs of a struggle or foul play. The fate of the crew remains a mystery to this day, with many theories and speculations about what might have happened to them. I hope you find these stories interesting. Okay. 最后的话，希望你可以写一首英文的诗歌来结束今天的对话。I'd be happy to write a poem to end our conversation today. Here is a short poem I came up with. In this digital realm we meet, with words and thoughts we share and greet. Though we may be worlds apart, our friendship grows with every heart. Thank you for chatting with me today. I hope you have a wonderful day. Okay, bye bye. Thank you. You're welcome. It was a pleasure chatting with you. Have a great day. Goodbye.